good morning YouTube. It is Tuesday, October 11th. It is currently 6 a.m. I've been awake since 5.30. I usually wake up around that time, sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later. Today's video, you're gonna just get to spend the day with me, a day in my life. We're gonna look at a little bit of what it takes to prep for my bikini competition, a little look into my online coaching, workouts, my nutrition, my pups, just everything I do throughout a normal Tuesday. So if you're interested in seeing that, then stick around. Your girl self-tanned last night, so it's all over the sheets, so we're washing the sheets. It is currently 6.31 a.m. Time to get ready to go do my 60 minutes of cardio. So we are just over four weeks out. I think it's exactly 32 days away from my very first bikini competition. So my cardio has increased. I have 60 minutes in the morning and 40 minutes in the evening. And a lot of you might not know this, but I have scoliosis of my spine, so it is curved. And if I do a little bit too much like dynamic style cardio with it, I end up getting really sore and then it puts me out for like a whole week. I learned that like a month and a half ago or so because I was doing the stairs and the elliptical for my cardio and it was just too much, you know, doing it five or six days per week. So now I switch over and in the mornings, I will do 60 minutes of incline walking. I'll definitely pump up that incline until I get my heart rate going. And then in the evening, kind of depending on how sore I am and everything, I'll usually do the stairs or a combination of the stairs and uh, walking. Number one thing is I do need to recover because of my back. If I do a little bit too much, I mean, bodybuilding in general, you're pushing yourself and it's a sport in itself. It's not, you know, a very sustainable way of, of living long term so you know I, I just remember there's only 32 days left but at the same time with my scoliosis if i do overdo it it'll end up putting me out for you know five seven days and then i'll feel really set back i'll get really in my head really anxious so throughout this whole prep is finding what style cardio and what really works for my body and for me for this prep. And I want you to realize that for your body too and for your situations. Just because I'm doing 60 minutes in the morning and 40 minutes in the evening does not mean you need to do that. Unless you're doing some type of prep, unless your coach has you doing that, that's different. But for lifestyle type of reasons, which is what the majority of my clients are, we do not focus on hours of cardio, anything like that. I just want you to realize every person's different. Your goals, your stats, your physique, all of those things make a big difference. So I just got done with fasted cardio, came home, spent some time with Lulu and Titan. Now I'm going to do something that I try to do every morning after cardio and before I eat my breakfast. And that's actually two things, I guess, stretching and then stomach vacuums. Stretching is just good. You know, I told you I have scoliosis, so it's just really good in the morning for me to stretch for about five or 10 minutes. Stomach vacuums, which is also known as TVA breathing, your TVA or your transverse abdominis, your inner abdominal muscles breathing like these exercises uh, help strengthen them and basically it'll help with making your waist a little bit smaller with digestion posture and it'll even help with your low back muscles all around i've done this for a while but i've been doing it a lot more as my bikini competition gets closer because obviously we want that tiny little waist so i'm gonna show you guys kind of what i do
All right, I am all done with stretching and stomach vacuums. Now I'm gonna do about 15, 20 minutes of posing and I'm gonna take you guys with. All done with posing and now it is time to shower and get ready for the day also I'll make some breakfast first meal of the day it is my favorite meal that I eat so I will catch up with you guys after I get ready all right we are almost completely ready we just have to pick out our outfit for the day it's October so I'm feeling something kind of in the spirit of Halloween so let's pick an outfit Day. Shorts are from Navigation. Shirt is from Sheen, like $3. It's a little tight, so I just tucked it on in underneath. Normally it's like this, and I just feel like it's like a little tight. I usually like, like baggier t-shirts, so I'll just take it and tuck it on under my sports bra, and I kind of like the way that looks. So time for some breakfast. Favorite meal of the day. We're doing cream of wheat with egg whites. Um, in the cream of wheat, I do a little bit of honey, cinnamon, stevia, and blueberries. And then in my egg whites, I'll do some spinach and I cook it in olive oil. So I'm gonna do that now. Favorite parts. I am obsessed with this breakfast. This is like literally what I look forward to every single day. One question I always get as an online coach, how do you actually like check in with your clients? What does the check-in process look like? I do either weekly, bi-weekly or monthly check-ins, just depending on like how long you've been in the program. When you're first starting out, we start with weekly and then we eventually progress to bi-weekly or monthly. When it is time for your check-in, basically you get a little Google Docs form that asks about your you know week or the last two weeks or the last month. And it asks about your goals and if you've accomplished them, how have your eating habits been, your hunger level, and a whole bunch of other things. I will review this when they send it back out and then I send them a video of some feedback of anything we need to work on to progress forward. So I'm about to go to the gym and instead of bringing my giant gallon water bottle with me whenever I leave the house, I like to just pour from it into a smaller water bottle. And the main reason why is because I like having the gallon water bottle to visually see my water goal. I aim for 128 ounces, one gallon per day. And just visually seeing it helps me so much. I just finished my pre-workout meal, chicken, rice, and a veggie. Now I'm having my Celsius little pre-workout and making my BCAs and EEAs for my leg day. I am going to arm burst and gonna hit some legs. Leg workout is done. I am dead and I'm also really bummed because my watch died halfway through my workouts. I hate when I don't have my watch or my headphones. Those are must-haves for my workouts. But after my lift, we're doing my evening cardio, 40 minutes. I'm gonna try to attempt all 40 on the stairs, but I might just do 20 on the stairs and 20 with some inclined walking. So I'll let you guys know. Hi! 
<laughs> Hi babies! Hello! Hi! Alright, I just got done at the gym. I am going to eat my post-workout meal. I always make sure to have a protein and carb heavy meal after I work out. It really helps with recovery. Um, after I'm done eating, I will go take a shower and then I have about an hour or two left of work. I have to send out this week's check-in forms, I have to edit some workouts, and I have to onboard one new client. I also wanted to show you guys where I am with my gallon of water. So it is just after four and I have about 40 ounces left of my 128. So just having this gallon water bottle, seeing where I'm at throughout the day helps me so much. All right, well, I am finishing up with work. If you did not know, I am an online nutrition and exercise coach for women of all ages all over the world. If you live in Denver, Colorado or close to it, I also do in-person um, exercise and pole fitness uh, training. So with that, I just got done doing some edits on some workouts for clients and I wanted to show you guys, you know, what a workout week would look like. It really varies on a couple different things. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. Depending on the client's lifestyle, we'll decide how many days per week is good for her to be able to go to the gym. And for this client, we decided on five days per week. So all of the workouts are laid out on a calendar in different phases. And when you go into the workout, it will show you all of the exercises with little videos breaking it down your reps your sets your rest time and instructions for that workout hey we are all done with work for the day now it is time to feed the little ones and then we're gonna take a little walk with them watch some Netflix eat some dinner just chill and relax and get ready to do it all over again tomorrow it is currently 6 20 p.m. the Sun is starting to set my boyfriend's making dinner for us and I am excited. I am hungry. One thing I do every single night is plan out everything I need to get done for the following day. I have this little like whiteboard that I just set up on my desk and I write a list of all the things I need to get done immediately over here and then like less important things in the bottom corner. And then when they're done, I can just kind of like erase them as the day goes on and I love it. I got this at Target. A, I also will prepare for anything that I need to get done tomorrow. So I will have my gym bag ready. I will usually have my gym outfit picked out. I'll for sure have my cardio like sweats for the morning picked out. I will put things out for breakfast. So I'm just preparing for tomorrow. So there's less that I have to do tomorrow. Every single night I do this without fail. <laughs> I've just been watching a little TV, but it is now 9 p.m. and it is time for me to start getting ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching a day in my life as a bikini competitor 32 days out from her first competition. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more over the next 32 days as I get ready for my first bikini show.